Hello YouTube. We're in Ocala, Florida. Saturday night dirt track racing. A little different. 10th scale. Ocala, Florida. New red hobbies on the dirt oval. Got the new car painted up. You'll see that here in just a little bit. We are been running. We've had practice a little bit already. Tracks was pretty loose. But you can hear them doing some track prep right now. They're getting it blown off. Uh, we'll see what uh, what that brings. Hopefully a little more moisture in the air. Maybe throw down a little water, get some more, uh, some traction there. It was pretty loose in practice. Uh, may make a pinion change. May not quite need the uh, top end speed here uh, to keep us going, but we'll see what that, uh, what that looks like. Uh, we'll go ahead and take a little look at the track. scale short course lake models that's what you're seeing here i'm in that uh pink white black camo car uh leave a comment let me know what you think about the paint job that's the new color uh don't quite have numbers on it yet but uh those should be coming soon next time we get out on dirt we'll have the we'll have the numbers on it so getting around uh decently uh, definitely have good speed but out of the turns, I uh, just don't have the grip. And you see they're you know, really loose in the rear end. So car sits a little high. A lot of these cars are probably on uh, some, most of these cars are on some low center of gravity chassis. I'm sitting with a, uh, this is a brand new chassis, uh, but high center, high center of gravity chassis. As at the Hobbyplex, that's what we have to run is a HCG. So. Just running that but uh not doing bad but you can tell just losing little by little seconds by seconds on uh per lap and really it's coming out of the turns just can't really get on it hard out of the turns or uh or through the turn keep the momentum through the turn very well so hey that's part of it it's good racing so and i'm enjoying my time Rough rear ended there, but hey, part of racing. Hey guys, seven o'clock. We haven't got to shut the crew out, so last order is at seven. Last order is at seven. The only good racing tip was to play it off. Four, three, two, one. That is the race. David, you don't, you don't play like holy name. Brian, you done. Dustin, David, you done. So also ran the novice class. They had didn't have very many cars in it. Uh, wanted somebody else to run, and I said, sure. Yeah. It, I'm happy to run because it just gives me more track time. The better I can get at just being consistent, the better off I am. And the, better I'll be. I enjoy it. I enjoy just driving so it didn't bother me much. But uh, you know again a lot of the same challenges. Just uh, keeping consistent in and out of the turns. This uh, this course is very very flat. Very flat. Really no banking in the turns at all. And it's Florida. So there's a bit of a sandy soil. Not like maybe you know, black dirt in the Midwest or Play in the you know, Ohio Valley area, things like that. But not bad, you know, just something you got to get used to. Know what you're doing, how to drive. I'm sure you all can hear the announcer giving me a hard time about my pink car. Oh well, I think I'm in the lead here. I was in the lead for maybe half the race. Uh, the yellow car there 
catches me and gets around me for the for the heat win. So yeah, this is uh, qualifier number one for novice. The previous race you saw was qualifier number one for the short course late model cars. Another thing I got to really focus on is not pressing. You know, as you start to get to a point where you're trying to press to get uh, get up to somebody, you, you end up doing worse. So. All right. So first qualifying is over. Um, not so hot in the late model short course. Um, was fourth there. Had uh, had some trouble just being consistent, and I'm probably not as quite as fast. So a little struggle there. Uh, novice. I think I was number two, um, bump right up at the, at the top there. The other uh, hot rod in, in Novice actually has like a maybe a, a eighth or a tenth scale, but it's more of a buggy style car. A little more suited for what I got. I think I got the wrong tires here, but hey, we're having fun. A little bit of drizzle, and uh, we had a did a shock change. Um, we're gonna lower the car, see what that does. So. We're gonna stay in here and uh, enjoy the night. So two, two qualifiers, two heats. Uh, now on to the features. Novice feature up first. I think I came out of the second groove, got a little wild there, uh, but was able to just settle down and making some laps. Again, uh, with the other car, like I said, you know, it being more of a a pan kind of car, I guess, is the best I can describe it. You know, a buggy style off-road car. It uh, just uh, able to do a little better on the on the loose uh, sand, dirt. But uh, you, know, you can see there, the challenges are coming out of the turns, right? Uh, get into the turns and keeping the momentum through the turns is is the challenge because it's so loose. So I mean, you can see even the other cars, right? Having a lot of challenges with the loose dirt. There you go, spinning out. So, tires, I think that's a big difference. We'll work on it. Uh, next time we come, we'll know. You can see starting to put some, you know, just consistent laps together. I uh, wish I had the better traction because I think the laps were really consistent until I get in the wall there. But up until then, moving through, moving around pretty well. So now it's on to the uh, short course late model starting in last position. Well, I think uh, only eight cars went to the feature. There was nine that ran starting off, but only eight. Kept out of the mayhem there at the beginning. I uh, was up to uh, fourth there. But as the, as the lap started ticking off, they were uh, able to just catch me. So, good racing. Love the atmosphere at this uh, facility. You know, the outside, under the lights, Saturday night. It's uh, 
It's a really cool atmosphere. You can see there, they're just the loose dirt, man, or the loose sand. It kills everybody if you get, you just get out of shape and you can't, you can't get back on that throttle very well, because it throws everybody. So, challenging, uh, can be a challenging, uh, challenging track. Listen, if you're ever in the Ocala area, you know, a uh, little hobby shop up front, they also have a indoor off-road track. Uh, they were running in there basically midday, and then right as that ended, uh, the oval started up. So we started racing right about 5, 6 o'clock. So real cool place. You know, if you're in the Ocala area, uh, or you know, just having me down there on vacation, and kind of like us, wanted to want a place to run. Uh, it's pretty cool. It's called New Red Hobbies. You can definitely check them out online on Facebook, and uh, give them a call. Well, we're wrapping up a great night here at New Red Hobbies in Ocala, Florida, on the dirt track. He doesn't get any better than Saturday night under the lights. Dirt oval racing, 10th scale. Had a fantastic night. Ended up second in the novice. Um, I think I was eighth out of, I think we had nine that started. I think we only had eight start the feature. Uh, so not a bad night. Uh, I was loose the whole night. Uh, and basically I'm running. The issue was as I started to watch you know, what other people were doing there, we had we were running stock tires like we ran like we run there at uh, in New Albany at uh, Hoosier Hobbyplex, and hey, here they're running like a buggy style off road tire on the dirt oval. Hey, that's what they do. Um, next time we know, we'll be back again, and uh, we'll be a little more prepared for that and uh, do a little better. It was awesome. I, the atmosphere was great. Just. I don't know, that picture right there is really cool to me. So, reminds me of my childhood on a Saturday night at the Dirt Oval. So, thank you for watching. 
Hope you enjoyed this. If you did, give it a big thumbs up. And we will see you in the next video. And remember, whatever your hobby is, I hope you get time to enjoy it.